there's a very interesting story emerging from Europe today. What I find interesting is in places like France, where they're trying to take away the freedom, and you have the elite now. The elite are actually trying to do away with uh, the public uh, internet, uh, Wi-Fi, and they're you know they're doing searches without your consent. And I've even heard now that the elite in France want to do be able to take a DNA sample from you without your approval. So with all this bullshit coming from the elite, it's not surprising that we have a breath of fresh air. And here she is. Her name is Marie, Marine Le Pen. Yes, uh, Marine Le Pen is with the uh, National Front Movement. And, she, and they just gained a big, big election of victory in France. And that's what this story about, is today about. I'm talking about a movement in Europe. Even people like uh, Nigel Farage here. He's from England. And all these people who are gaining popularity, popularity, they all have one thing in common. They're for the people. They want sovereignty for each country. They do not want to be ruled by Brussels. Basically, we have uh, increasingly, increasingly we are seeing uh, European countries coming to their senses and not wanting to be ruled by an elite based criminals in Brussels. And that's what I find really interesting is because this lady here, uh, Marine Le Pen, she really has a strong way of talking and her talking is for the people. She's an anti-Euro federal state. She's against that agenda. She uh, basically what the Europeans are starting to say is uh, the European Union is a no-go for the working class people. They don't want to be ruled by Brussels and I don't blame them. So this is a very, like I say, it's a very very interesting story coming out of France and England and pretty much all the countries, even in Germany. Every one of these countries are having a movement, a strong movement to protect the European culture or what is left of it. This movement is an anti-immigrant mo movement for sure. They want to have, they want to be able to secure their borders. They want to make sure that the immigrants coming in are not going to hurt them like on Friday the 13th. This movement is gaining stream at an alarming rate in Europe. Now, the fact is that we don't really have a national front movement in America, and that's a problem. But I see that sometimes we come late to the game. And the closest thing we have in America to a national front movement would be the European tribes of North America. This is an organization that wants to take back uh, the European values, European, what, that's what North America used to be, or America United States of America was a European country. We, we played by uh, European rules and we had laws. And now, of course, there's a whole new, whole new elite who want to spread diversity and uh, push down the European. That's not working out very well for the elite. And uh, I have proof, and now I have proof. I've always known that the elite were losing the battle. And now we have Marine Le Pen to prove her numbers are, I, I almost think that her group got almost 40% of the vote, and uh, it's still an, up, st still an uphill battle for them, but they're gaining uh, power at an alarming rate, and this must really scare the hell out of the elite, because uh, the elite in Brussels are out of control. Now, there is one problem with this movement, this National Front movement in Europe, there is one problem I see with it, but they can overcome that, and that problem would be uh, they still want to have a socialist welfare state, and of course we know that sooner or later a socialist welfare state will break down. We're going to have to get the Europeans back to working like they used to. You know, the Italians used to make really nice shoes, uh, leather jackets, clothes, I mean, the Europeans know how to make really good stuff, and they have to get back to that uh, stock and trade where they worked for their, they worked a good living, and they didn't sit in the cappuccino cafes 
uh, hoping the state would take care of them with long vacations and whatnot. So, but uh, I don't want to get off the track here. The basic premise of this video is how strong a movement is coming, a national front movement coming in Europe by people here like Nigel Farage and uh, the lady in France called Marine Le Pen. Their movement is growing, like I said, very, very quickly. And this is good news. This is good news for people who want to be free. Now, again, I say in America, we don't really have a national front in America, but uh, Donald Trump is your first baby step towards that. If you notice the things that Donald Trump are talking about, it's sort of the same thing that the, uh, the uh, national front in Europe is talking about. They want to bring back power to the European people. And the first way you would do that is gain control of your borders. And you want to be able to pick and choose who's coming into your country. And that's why Donald Trump has seen such great numbers in the polls that the American people and even the people in Europe are putting their foot down. They want to put a stop to this world bank who wants diversity and basically break down the European cultures. That's really what it comes down to. The elite that are, they're now based in Brussels, the elite, they're based in Washington, D.C., and they use their money through the Federal Reserve System and the central banks throughout the world, they use their money to take control of like Congress and all the other uh, elective bodies, and by taking control of Congress, the, these elite people have taken control of the country, and not, only, not only our country, but the whole world, and the people are finally waking up, and the people are seeing, seeing what happens, how the elite used their money, they bought Congress, they bought Brussels, they, and, they, but, and, they, and they did it very, very quickly. It, it happened very quickly. It's amazing what money can buy. And the money bought them political power, but there's one thing that money did not buy the elite. It did not buy the loyalty of the American people. It did not buy the loyalty of all the Europeans in France and Italy and uh, England. So, and when these people are now speaking up, and you see, you see that they're voting for people like Marine Le Pen, who wants, uh, she wants the power to be left in France and not in Brussels. And uh, what I'm hoping is the National Front Movement will come to America soon also.